Austria, Eurovision 2024. Colleen. Colleen? Colleen? How is that for an introduction? I'm Mike, by the way. And I'm a music teacher in Australia. Wait a second. Did she perform this live anywhere? We will rave. Now my introduction has gotten much longer. This is what we're gonna need. This is doing okay in the odds, isn't it? What's going on? There's like some ridiculous sexual tension in here with those. It's just, I don't get it. Musically, th the great thing is, and I've literally stopped at 10 seconds in. So hello, if you're still here, the synthesizer is doubling the melody that enhances the melody quite a bit. We don't know what this is going to sound live. We don't know what she's like based on this. The melody is doubled. It brings that out. Whether that happens throughout the whole thing, it's likely it's not because once we take that away, the texture is going to be thinner. So you listen, the melody is fully doubled, vocals and the synthesizer. Oh no, we're starting again. Ice running through my face. You just did it again. Minor tonality. Because I can't be your friend. Okay. I'm cold, but this is not the end. So I go, 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 well I'm broken hearted, go. No one knows a thing about my heart, it's so I go, oh, okay. wanna dance it off. Very the interesting. I won't let it show, they will never know. When po, 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 Edgar Allan Poe. No one knows a thing about my heart, it's so I Distortion go, on the vocals. Oh, oh, wanna dance so again, this is something that's going to have to be done live. How's that going to happen? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Expected this kind of breakdown. Techno music. There's a lot of techno. This though has the ability to not work live very well, depending on her vocals, because there's so much enhancement on the vocals here, which is not a bad thing against the vocalist because it's part of the composition. It's something that will have to be really monitored live and an understanding of there's distortion of some kind put on the vocals, which is fine because we know that it is electronic. How's that going to work live? How's it going to sound? There's a big push for techno music here at this point. It's a very normal techno structure. It's fun. I'm just trying to understand what's happening. Uh, are they meaning wise? I feel like there's a contrast to last year's one here. Is she objectifying the men? It's probably likely that's the case, which is totally fine. But I'm trying to understand what's going on. Adding interest, texture. That's what I'm talking about. The distortion on the vocals. Catchy. Okay. I was meant to talk about that. I know I've stopped it about 17 times, so thank you for staying here. Ram di dum dum. That. Again, non-lexical vocables, which is used to be able to relate to everyone. Let's say English is not your native language or you don't understand English very well. Just having that in will be able to open it up to many, many more people. And we see that throughout. We see that for Croatia's as well. But it happens yearly all the time, especially in non-English songs, because that's what gets them. That's what gets people singing along. It works here, but unfortunately not to a point where it's so memorable because I actually forgot about it until I heard it again. Yeah, it's 
good. It's great to pump in the car. How's it gonna work on stage? I think this could be really cool on stage as well. Building up in texture, there's a rise here. Ah, yes. Very good. Good for repeating that part at the end. For the reasons why I said the ram di dum dum is what's gonna catch people here. I love how that wasn't predictable. The use of silence, I didn't know what was gonna happen. Was it gonna go back into that drop or that, you know, break down that kind of instrumental trance part or will it go back into vocals? It did what I thought would go back into the vocals, but not when I thought, and that was excellent. It really puts a element of surprise and unpredictability to something which is a dance piece. So this kind of breakdown bridge. That is not conducive to dance music. This wouldn't work in a club for that reason alone. We need a structure in lots of four or eight or 32 if you're looking at it from like a DJ perspective. But here, let's count the counts or the beats between the end of that phrase and the beginning of the next one. We should have four or eight for consistency. Eight would be better. One, two, three, four, five, six. Interesting. We have six. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that's not, if this were played in a club, that would put everyone off. And that's not a bad thing because I think from a performance perspective, from a composition perspective, this really, for that reason alone, stands out as different to regular dance or clubbing or trance music for that one bit alone. And that's intentional because anyone who composes that kind of music will know if it's gonna be played in a club, you need to have predictability because it should have come in two beats earlier, but it didn't. For the purposes of performance, that unpredictability is great. For the purposes of dancing, that unpredictability is not good and it will put people off. Let's hear it one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it should have been, so it should have come in. Where's my, my, oh, why can't I hear my keyboard anymore? Okay. Is it right? One, two, three. So it should be coming in. One, two, three. Dun, 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 dun. But instead it's coming in. One, two, three, four, one. Three. So it really puts it off. Great compositionally, great as an interesting feature, especially within a Eurovision performance, where everyone will be like, what's gonna happen next? We've waited that extra two beats. It didn't sit right for me when I heard it the first time because I wasn't expecting that. But again, that's only because of how dance music should be with its predictability. I, I like it. Like, I mean, it, it would be good to smash out in the car. Again, live, how's this gonna work? I feel like there is this potential for a lot of issues to happen vocally and also on stage with some parts where we don't know what's going to happen. This part would be great on stage. Yeah, I just feel like what, what do we do in that breakdown part in the chorus? Like what happens on stage? Because you're expecting, I guess, the DJ to be going off and the dance floor to be going off. How do you communicate that? That's not for me to decide. It's an interesting song but I have my reservations about how this is gonna work. I have my reservations about what she sounds like life.
Let me know your thoughts. It's a tricky song, that's why. Let me know your thoughts down below. You know, I always look at the comments. I always uh, I try to respond to them. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.